Hey, what's happening, everyone? I want to welcome you back to my train simulator series. I uh, just want to let you guys know that I have done another task on the uh, Marias Pass. It's the NJ Training Base in here, uh, Basics uh, task, which was done off screen. I also done another task off screen, which was the express preparation for the London to Brighton line which only took 15 minutes, I'll be doing one of these tasks in the next episode. And this task over here, the rush hour run, will be done off screen, thus completing all the easy tasks on the Great Western Mainline service as well. Again, I'll be doing one easy task from the London to Brighton line, don't know which one yet, then I'll be doing a medium task and a hard task after that. I'll be doing one easy task on uh, the Mariah's pass before I switch to the medium tasks and uh, because I've not done an Isle of Wight task yet I will be doing one of the episodes sorry I'll be doing one of the tasks on this episode uh, the one I'll be doing will be last train standing yeah last train standing it will be a class 483 EMU LT. The whole objective is to finish my shift. I hear the last train of the day has had a malfunction upline, leaving the last few stops unfinished. So now I need to take the 002 train to complete the final stops and round off the pier head. So let us finally do this Isle of White challenge in just a moment. Oh, it turns out to be a nice shift. It's not going to make the task any easier whatsoever. The double A train is not going anywhere. Pull out of St. John's Road onto the main line and switch cabs to pick up the passengers from the down line. So this is doesn't appear to be an easy task whatsoever. Right, let's have a look at inside our locomotive. Obviously we've seen what our locomotive looks like from both sides. Right, let's uh, look at our tasks. Here we are. There you go. Show task. Hmm. Center player. Oh, I see. I uh, need to reverse and. Go back. Yeah, I can see where I'm going. Let's have a look at the task again. Wrong way. Well, let's uh, go back the opposite way. Oh, is that it? Only two carriages. Wait a minute, did I just hear that correctly? Will he have the whistle going? The horn of this train sounds like what would happen if you put a, a whistle on it. Anyway, we're the only train left. That's no time to lose. Alright, what we're going to do is have our train come out as far as this line over here. And then we're going to switch it back.
I think there's a way to actually I'm not over the speed limit there. Let's have a look inside the carriages. Hmm. Oh, that impressed really. So I think it's this line on the left that we want. Because we've only got two carriages. Now we'll be slowing down very moment very moment we pass. Zoom in at this point. All oh, the line, the lines already on its way for us. So we're gonna switch the lights. So now that we're facing in the opposite direction. That's more like it. Thank goodness for uh, being allowed to change your camera view. Now I think you can do this when you're in the Electro Star, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, actually, you can, because I don't want the Electro Star task just uh, yesterday. Actually, I'll be uh, continuing to do a few more tasks off screen. Everyone, I'll uh, I will show you every locomotive uh, every, every, as the series goes on. And here comes our first station. which I'll be standing at in just a moment. I will put the brakes on now. Uh, I don't know what the trains actually look like in the Isle of Wight. I mean, this is what they actually look like. forward a bit. Just wish that thing right there would uh, screw off. We've uh, already lost some time going in the wrong direction on our platform as well as lost time trying to get this train to stop in the right spot. So I'm assuming the train to the left of us is the failed one. Now it's right to say John's Road 2. I'm assuming that's the stop we're at. Zoom in. And next stop will be Ride 1, in which we would be diverted to. And, uh, I think um, our passengers are on board, let's get going. Next up. Ride Esplanade... Uh, how, how do you pronounce that? Esplanade 1. 
In the process, I'll uh, show you what my locomotive looks like from both sides. But uh, I think it's a waste of time uh, putting it on this camera because literally you're only moving two carriages back and forth. It's like that on our railway on the City Line service from Liverpool Lime Street to Manchester Oxford Road. Ooh. Oh, wrong way. Just trying to look up for last time. Didn't realise uh, the speed limit was down to 20. I'm doing over that. God, I can't actually see where I'm going. My screen's a bit dark. Um, obviously, the light, night. Obviously, it's lights out. Digger. That's more like it. Can I get a side shot? I request a side shot. Screw it, I'll just uh, go in the cab for now. Stay at 20 miles an hour. I think I'm gonna need something for my screen too. I'm but more on my screen. This is absolutely not necessary. It doesn't help with the fact that all my uh, thumbprints are all over the screen as well. Well, we're just approaching ride Espinade One. We're hoping to keep up the schedule as it approaches 11 at night. Now, this is the first task I've done at night since the calls to Newcastle task. That won't be the uh, last good task, obviously. Obviously, it wouldn't be my la last task at night as I go over the speed limiter again. Foolishly go over the speed limit again. Need to focus on uh, my speed a bit more. Think I'm about to fly into a tunnel. First time I've actually encountered the tunnel. Hopefully the uh, stations will not be as close to, to each other. Hold on a second. Th there's two stops right there. Oh, I see what I gotta do. So technically I'm going back and forth on this part of the track to uh, pick up some passengers. Need to do a lot better than that. As we come out of the tunnel. And we're about to switch to the right track. in order to stop at the right station. Hmm. I think we're on a hill. The speed's going down. I'm plus I want to build enough speed to get up this hill. Uh, 
So imagine what the ride will be like will be like when I go back down it. And we stop right here. Now this train has no emergency brakes, so once I overrun the, the station, I'm screwed. So let's, let's go to our next task. Ride P ahead one, which is the end of the line. Then I gotta go back through this platform again, and then the my other platform again. And I put the stream back inside and. Well, that's a bit of a bullish task. All I'm doing is going up and down the line. Come on, I want to actually explore, explore the route properly. And when I say explore the route, I'm not talking about just having a free roam. Because it's, it's all boring on a free roam, to be honest. You're the only train on the track, and there's nothing challenging to do. Which is why, um, to keep the series going, I must do some various challenges. <sighs> Excuse me. Various challenges. A few tasks. And um, I get paid tomorrow, so I may or may not add some new routes, new locomotives to the uh, to the game. So I need to approach 15, less than 15, when I uh, approach the station. It's only 33, 0.3 miles away, and. That's just right there in front of me. And oh, that's—I'm assuming that's pretty cool. Driving on this bridge, what appears to uh, go out towards the pier. If it actually, if my train actually wanted to hurry up. Oh, that's more like it. Looks like I'm starting to like this already. Hmm, that's slow down. Passenger carriage. Yeah, passenger carriage. What am I on? Explore the carriage. But I think this is all there is, really. Just a pier. Hmm. If you take a close look in the background. You can uh, actually hear some boats going off. It's like that, uh, it's like the old uh, series of the Thomas and Friends when you were, when, whenever one of the characters is at the harbour on near Edwards branch line. I think it's season two, if I'm not mistaken. If you take a closer listen to the background, you can actually hear some sound effects going off when they're at the harbour. And 
there's the buffers right there ahead of me so I'm going to stop this train because if I run to the buffers my train will derail and I'll just crash into the pier killing everyone on board including I must say myself everyone will think that I committed drunk driving and would have killed everyone by uh, not It'll go down as murder, manslaughter. Everyone will uh, be rotted in the in the river down below. Anyway, we've got to go back through. Uh, ride, Esplanade One. Well done. The northbound station stops for the day are now complete. More like for the night are now complete. Switch cabs and depart the final two stops at Raid and St. John's Road. So as far as I'm concerned this is our front carriage now. Ah, stop! No, 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 no. I was going the wrong way for a split second then. I, I need to, I'm sorry, I need to think a lot more fast. I need to be on my toes a bit more. I need to learn as this game goes on. I must remember that I am in control of whatever cab I'm in so technically I was going the right way the whole time. And we're going to do lower than 15 when we come out of the station and once we pass the sign point telling us we can do 20 we'll stick it up to 20. Don't remember eating that. So we're just going to stick to our cab for most of the journey now. It's better when you uh, stay in the cab because you get to see what it's like from a driver's eye view or a co-driver's eye view. It depends who's sitting with you or if you're sitting on your own. But to be fair with you, I uh, originally wanted to be a train driver when I was a lot younger because I loved watching trains as they passed outside my nan's house and I actually wanted to see what it was like to uh, drive a train but I got put off by the disasters that would occur on the rails and I looked at every uh, history book, every train related history book to see what the disasters were like and what was the cause of it. Some of it was naturally done by uh, the locomotive itself. Uh, some was uh, due to driver error. And after that, I was just like, whoa. So yeah, we're basically going back the way we came, really, so. Just, uh, we didn't have to do this to be honest I, could, I should have chosen another episode well we're still under one hour with this task uh, I should be done with it in like another 20 minutes but don't forget I was uh, fanning about with the uh, controls the whole route and everything, the whole scenery. Uh, imagine what the scenery would look like if the sun was out. Sometimes it's better when it's at night because the background is just... Okay. 
I am. I'm sure it's not going to hurt. We're the only train left. So, we should be allowed to uh, pass the, 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 the signal up ahead, regardless of what it is. Hmm. It's all clear anyway, so, shouldn't really bother us too much. Let's uh, slow down a bit. to stop again but my train is uh, so small I don't think we can actually miss the stop completely Alright, we're going to pick up more passengers from Ride Esplanade 1 again, as well as some passengers at John's, St. John's Road 2, so, and we've got to go back to the siding which we originally started from. So once the passengers are on board or left, it is uh, time to go. Not that there's any passengers on board anyway. I mean, is there any point in uh, taking the train at this time anyway? I mean, why not just walk it there or not get a bus? Well, whoever's missed this train, it sucks to be them. Because on the last train they have to sleep at the station for the night. It's uh, this is this place kind of reminds me of uh, the coastal route in North Wales. If you um, get a train, get you get an Arriva Wales North Wales train service from Warrington Banky and go to somewhere in Wales. You can uh, you'll pass loads of houses. You'll uh, pass plenty of. Uh, beaches and sands and the sea and all that. Now the best part about that route is that it actually passes under a mountain just outside um, uh, outside Rill if I'm not mistaken. I think uh, there's like a bridge a train can go through on the way to uh, Conway Castle. I think, I think I've got all photos of that somewhere on my uh, Facebook account. I think you can uh, get an Arriva train service from uh, Rail to Warrington as well. 
I don't know, I've not been on a Reaver train service to uh, Wales before. Other than the time when me and my ex girlfriend were going from uh, Roncorn East to Ellesmere Port last year. This was before I uh, got with my recent girlfriend. So, um, I think this rounds off our task really because all we're doing is going back the way we came. I think all we ever did was take this train out for a passenger run. There you go, light at the end of the tunnel. Every time I press the four button, it keeps going back to that. I just want a good shot of it. Uh, my two carriage Dominion before I uh, switch back to the passenger view. I just did. Ah, it's better when you zoom in because you can actually see more clearer. Let's stick on the gas a bit more. Yeah, just approaching our final station now. Only uh, one point, sorry, zero point one seven miles away. So modern on this route. Looks like uh, an old fashioned signal in the uh, olden days. train has been at the platform since our task started, it's not moved since.
final stop. Well, it was originally our first stop as well. So we can call it our first and final stop. When you come to think of it. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming uh, 50 seconds late won't hurt. And now we go back to our siding. Now we go back to our siding. There you go. Zoom in. I'm assuming we'll be uh, put on the right track. All stops complete. Put into the, into the side to complete the scenario. Even though it's right next to us, I can't understand why we can't just stay at the station. I uh, don't go over the entire uh, switch track. Oh, that was a lot of sound. Wasn't my phone, that's for sure. I don't know what we're doing at this point. Well, we're already on the right track. Let's go to the main carriage and pull into our siding. Thankfully, I haven't. Um, whoop. Forgot to uh, change the direction.
15 15 in the Yeah, there's a platform right there. Why can I use that? side and so that was all we had to do really but hopefully the next uh, task that I do, regardless of route, will be a lot better. Maybe a lot longer as well, so that was the uh, last train standing task. But, uh, I've forgotten what, bit, what class it is now, I'm going to have a look at it when I uh, go back on the uh, menu list later. Oh, how long have we been through this episode for? Yeah, 45 minutes. I think that, I think that rounds off now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, I'm to myself. Like I usually do. You can now end the shift knowing that no passengers are that stranded. Unless they miss the train, that is. Let's go back to our scenario list. There's a class 483 EMU LT. Hopefully, uh, the next time I come onto this, it'll be a different locomotive. And there's a different uh, livery as well. But it's just the same class, really. Also, we've got a, a, carry, a yellow carrier as well. Might consider that task. As well as the uh, 04. OST Invincible. So there you go, it. There's my first task on the Isle of Wight. Um, please comment and rate and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you for more updates here this week.